Welcome to Viking Preparedness. Welcome to Shofar Mountain. I am Pastor Joe Fox, and this is Alex and Abel. Shalom. Shalom. <laughs> so, where are you guys from? Where? What brings you here? Uh, we're from a place called Wesley Chapel, a small suburb north of Tampa, about 15 minutes out, and in Florida. In Florida, yes, and it's pretty much a very suburban area. All the houses are about. 12 inches from each other, you can reach over and pat your neighbor on the back. <laughs> kind of like here, right? I mean, you know, we're kind of tight. Yeah, you know, actually, this is, this is a quite a bit uh, further apart than we used to. Yeah. This is great, actually. But yeah, what brings us here is uh, we're here because we came to visit Shofar, Shofar community mm -hmm. on the mountain to be close to other believers of the way. And how did you find us? YouTube. YouTube. We were looking at a bunch of places to live because we want to live off-grid, self-sustainable, and we we're looking for the best place in the U.S. because we wanted to leave the country at first. We wanted to go to a place in South America. A lot of people do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like Ecuador or Argentina Ecuador was our or first Uruguay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But uh, we, we figured out that we don't want to be the gringo once an eco economic collapse or anything happens mm -hmm. like that. We don't mm -hmm. want to be the guys that they're going to go to first. Right. So we decided that we want to stay in the U.S., use the infrastructure that we have here, and um, live sustainably with mm -hmm. other Americans, most importantly. We put a lo yeah, go, go ahead. ahead. We put a lot of thought into where we would want to go in the U.S. We bounced back idea from idea. We'd be set somewhere, and for some reason, we just couldn't decide on something. Um, we felt like the Ozarks were definitely calling us. Nothing even really, we didn't even find anything that attracted us. It just came to our minds, and we looked more into it. And that's how we came across Shofar Mountain on YouTube. Um, started watching all their videos, which found we then we found it even more attractive, and we went from there. So, without talking about specific cities or places in the mm -hmm. Ozarks that y'all have been to, you've been around. You've yes. you've gotten to go around. Brother mm -hmm. Justin took you guys around. We went out last night, and and went some places. And again, without mentioning like specific places, mm -hmm. what is your impression? Of the Ozark, because you guys like born and raised in Florida, basically, oh, yeah. yes. right? Definitely. Okay, and Tampa area, so mm -hmm. that's like the perspective you're coming from. So you come here. What's like your impression? Uh, and I'm talking the Ozarks, not Shofar Mountain. Okay. Um, to be honest, 180 degrees the other way from mm -hmm. what I thought, because I was coming from a position thinking that this area would probably be like a racist area or like. The people might be a little too backwoodsy for for for, Very for small Tampa town. people. Like no, 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 no. A grocery store and a gas station. And right. That's about it. Yeah, pulling out but the banjo. Complete opposite. Yeah, complete yeah. Opposite. One hundred percent different from what we what we expected. Mm -hmm. Actually, this place is very contemporary. Very, very well laid out. Well laid out, and it's more upper class than we would have thought. It's more. Like, oh, y'all need to get around more. Yeah. <laughs> right, maybe they haven't been to the right places. Yeah. Well, I, well, we just, well, we figured, we were just like, no, this area cannot be, it's probably all rednecks. It's probably right. full of people who probably have missing teeth. Mm -hmm. But we're, we're presently surprised. This area is awesome. We love it. It's Good. actually a great difference from where we're from. And you picked, like, I think the best week that you yep. could pick to come out here weather-wise. Weather. It's been it's perfect. Yeah, if it was like this all the all year round, I say we wouldn't be able to afford to live here because everybody would want to buy land here and stuff. So, um, what are your impressions of Shofar Mountain? And you can you can be honest because actually I want the people out here in YouTube land to have a better feel. It's a, a lot more laid back than I thought. Um, I figured we'd be waking up from dusk to dawn, kind right. of chores all day. Hebrew slave um, work. Exactly, which we wouldn't have had a problem with, but it's nice to be able to also enjoy your time. Um, you work hard, play hard, you get to enjoy, you get to, the scenery is incredible. Um, so you work all day and then you also get to enjoy it afterwards um, from the creek to just being in the mountains in general. Um, so it's, that, I wasn't expecting that, definitely not. That was going to be I don't want to say more structured because it is structured. I just thought it would be a little more, I don't even know the word for it. What about you? Well, to be honest, I I, I, I was taken back about how vast it is. It, it is a <laughs> yeah. vast piece of land. And we don't tell people how big we are, but yes, yes it's, it's large. It's large and it's very, very beautiful. The land is absolutely beautiful. It, like It's like pictures you look up on Google of like beautiful forests. It, you're, you're like transported straight through. Mm -hmm. Right. And uh, yeah, and the people on the mountain are awesome. Everyone's very down to earth, very, 
very personable. We tell people we're down to earth, and some would even say earthy. <laughs> yeah, like secular, but not really. Um, but yeah, it's awesome, and the people are awesome, and the land is awesome, and it's it, it's blown away all of our expectations, to be honest. Definitely. All right. I'm trying to think, is there anything else we want to talk What did you guys do while you were here? What are, what are some things you did besides hang out and chill? Taking care of the livestock was definitely my favorite. I love animals, so I looked forward to it, but I definitely didn't expect it to be as enjoyable as it was. So um, like, what did you do? Just even simple tasks like tying up the goats, I found very enjoyable. Um, watching them eat down all the different grasses was really cool. I didn't realize they were that useful in that mm -hmm. area. They're like lawnmowers. Um, yes, exactly. Um, the chickens are great. Everything is really cool. The ducks, goats. Um, I just think it's awesome that you guys can Did you cook milk. in the kitchen? We did cook in the kitchen How's a couple that? times. That's enjoyable. Open um, air. It's pretty rough yeah. though, right? It is. It's definitely different. You kind of like catch yourself like going to like you're used to like the dishwasher mm -hmm. and the stove and all that, but in the oven. But it's I just from being here a few days, you know, you kind of catch on. It really does. It's not that bad at all. And some other chores would probably be um, using the compost toilet. That talk about that. Have you ever used one before? No. Never. But and we were super excited. So yeah, talk about the compost toilet because it's not one of those hundred thousand dollar nature heads. It's a no. It's a bucket and a toilet seat, and it was very comfortable at first. Um, you know, you have to remember, you know, put the peat moss and all yes. of that. And You'll be reminded down. if you do not put the peat moss. <laughs> yeah, yeah exactly. that's a way of reminding you. <laughs> but once you do, you do, you forget it's there. You really do. It, it really was And people don't believe that. Unpleasant at, people it are like, unpleasant at all. And um, it's fun using it and putting it into the compost every morning. It's just it's just fun to like feel like a human again because mm -hmm. we're so we're so disconnected, disconnected from from life and and nature where we're from. And now when we yeah, we we forget where, where does our poop go when we when we use the bathroom? Like, no where one does thinks this, about it. Just it. Disappears. Trash. Like, well, you know, <laughs> right. really, you're more aware of the trash you're using as well because you don't oh, we just, are. you don't have your trash man coming here right. twice a week. You know, so you know you think about things like that. Um, washing your clothes as well. I got to yeah, do you that. got to do that. That right. was great. Taking a shower out uh, outside, shower it's very bag. fun. <laughs> it's, it's really cool. It's invigorating, right? Yeah. And it feels like you're outside. It's you like all, all trees and everything. Mm -hmm. and so, yeah. What else did you do? Um, we cut down logs. That, that was <laughs> very light, very that. light little <laughs> very show light. farm mountain logs. Yeah, <laughs> but not really. <laughs> that, that was fun. Heavy, very heavy logs. I did not know logs were that heavy until today. And I, I was have, actually surprised at the weight of that one that we were playing with. I have a respect for loggers now. <laughs> All you loggers out there, you guys. Brother you, Cody, shout out. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, we that is, that's don't hard cut down work. any trees from where we're from. No. So that was, and I got to watch. But. Walking through nature. It's something that we don't really get to do this often and be, feel so free because you're always at like a national park or something. There's park rangers or everything, but here it's just so. And it's at any time, you know. It's any so time tranquil. Of day you feel like taking a walk and getting away. Yeah, Abel and I ability. were out working yesterday. They heard yeah. something funny and just took off. Yeah, and it was great. A couple hours hour. later, we're yeah. coming yeah, we'd back. Have to, we'd have to get in the car, plan it out, bring food, all that kind of stuff. It's right. like a day trip that you can only do on your like days off, and now it's just like, you know, you're living it. It's, it's awesome. It's really great. Mm -hmm. what, looking at the ch having the chickens all around is really fun too. It's like a petting zoo <laughs> all the time. Yeah. All right. So anything for the people? Um, people living in Babylon. You guys are living in Babylon. Platna, Platna, move out. Yes, yeah, so we're we're planning to get out of Babylon as soon as possible. And for all the people in Babylon, come try it. You need mm -hmm. to try it out. It, it's awesome. You, we have all these preconceived biases about how it is to live off grid. It's really awesome. It really is. You have to give it a try and try it out for a week and see if you like it because more more often than not, you're going to be pleasantly surprised as we yeah. were. Yeah, I don't want to hear anyone until they've tried it. Exactly. <laughs> All right. Say goodbye. Bye. Shalom. Bye.